Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Spring Boot application with MySQL. So for that, let me quickly create one Spring Boot application. So let me go to Spring Boot Initializer. So Spring Boot Initializer. Here I will be choosing Maven project and language Java, snapshot. So I will be keeping all things default. So let me give the group name origin codes and artifact ID connect MySQL or you can give whatever you want. So demo project for Spring Boot connection with MySQL. So I have uh, 11 version 11 of Java. So I will be choosing 11. So you can choose whatever you have in your operating system. So let me add some of the dependencies here. So Spring Wave for uh, running our application and ZFA for connecting databases and MySQL driver for connecting the MySQL driver. So these are the dependencies we need to connect and let me generate it quickly. So this will generate our Spring Boot application. Let me go to my downloads folder and let me extract it somewhere around so let me extract in desktop so let me click select so our application has been extracted here so the next thing is i will be opening in my intel ic so you can use other id as well so this process is similar so you can use eclipse or netbeans or whatever so i will be using intel ic for this tutorial so let me click open and let me open my Spring Boot application from Connect MySQL here. So just click OK. So this will open our Connect MySQL application. So the next thing is we need to create one model. So I will be creating one model, model, and this in this package, I will be creating one Java file and let me call it student, student. So first thing I will be creating it with entity. So entity will create the table named student in our MySQL. So the next thing is I need to create ID and let me create generated value and strategy generation type identity. So this will create the auto generated ID. So private int ID. So I will I declare some of the entities here so i mean attributes here so it's i will write a string and name so let me give a string address or you can give other field as well so i will be just constrained with these three fields and next thing is i need to uh, i need to create the constructor and get and setter so for, for that just right click here and generate and generate the constructor so i will be selecting none and the next thing is i also need to generate the getter and setter so let me select all of them so this is all about our model so the next thing is we need to create the repository as well so for that let me create one package repository and inside repository i'll be creating one interface and let me name it student repo z -tary. so this extends the crowd repository you can use the jpa repository as well so for this i will be using the crowd repository and the name of our class so the name of our class is student and the type of id is integer so the integer and our class name so this is it uh, for model and repository so the next thing is we need to configure and this is the configuration for mysql the first thing is you need to go just type spring jpa hibernate ddl auto and update also you need to give the url so this data source url the url would be jdbc mysql 
localhost 3306 and the name of the database so I will be creating the name spring demo or whatever spring okay let me give the same name as our class okay I mean uh, the project name connect mysql so I will be creating the connect mysql database in our mysql run. so the next thing is we need to just write spring dot data source dot username so that I have got a root as my default so if you have other if you have you know used other username you need to write your username according to your mysql and also I have got uh, password as the default so spring data source password so I have got default password so I don't need to put anything here so if you haven't changed anything so you can just use the same thing and I just need to give the driver class name as well so com.mysql cj and jdbc driver so this is it for the configuration the next thing is I need to create the mysql so if you are using windows you just need to open jam control panel so just open jam control panel and just start Apache and MySQL and next thing is you need to open your browser so I'll be opening Chrome just click on Chrome and just type localhost so if you type localhost you will find here PSP my admin and from here if you click on new you will be able to create a new database so this is how you create a new database using Windows so if you're using Linux I will show the steps how to do that first uh, how to do so just type sudo slash opt slash lamp slash jam and start so this will start the mysql so if you go to the browser and just type localhost so this will open the dashboard here so just click on php my admin so let me create a new database so i have given the name as connect mysql so let me give the same name here connect mysql so let me click on create so this will create new database it's connect mysql so here you can find there's nothing in table so if i just run this application if i just click on the run So this should create the table in our MySQL. So the application is running successfully on 8080 port. So if I go to my database here and if I just refresh, so you can see here this has created the table student. So if I go inside here, so it has created the same field as in our model so I have given ID name and address you can see here the structure if I click on the structure I've got ID address and name with auto increment and it's also a primary key because we have given this generation type generation type identity and we have given annotated with ID so this is how you connect your Spring Boot application with MySQL so in later videos i will be creating the same application with the crowd uh, functionality so keep watching my youtube channel until then goodbye just don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you